Hello, welcome to this um, new video tutorial. So in this one, again, I'm going to talk to you about um, depth map uh, and color map done in uh, Stable Diffusion and uh, how to integrate it in a Touch Designer. And it's a bit different, but as well quite similar from my previous one, as we are going to generate a passing by landscape. But this time it's not going to be based on only one picture, but on uh, as many pictures as we want. So we can have an infinite evolving landscape. So let me generate, we go from there and then, then go like to, yeah, any landscape we want to, to do. So main difference uh, with my other tutorial is uh, this one is more going to be a quick lookup on the project file. I don't think uh, it's really interesting like to build it step by step. So the project file is available for my patrons and um, I'm still going to dive in and to explain you how it works. So if you want to build it by yourself, um, it can be a, an interesting, um, interesting topic. So let's uh, dive in. So uh, basically uh, right now I'm loading up to 40 pictures, but it can be like as much as you want. So there's two folder containing the color and depth map and they are alternating between each other. So this one is going to be followed up by this one, which is going to be followed up by this one and so on. And so there's kind of four buffers and uh, I'm stitching these uh, four buffers together. So they uh, need to overlap a bit. Um, and for the depth map, there is a bit of trick because uh, I cannot just overlap them, but I have like to kind of blend them um, with some um, ramp uh, in order to have like a smoother effect. And so what we do is like we, we just uh, kind of read a portion of it. Um, so we don't read the full map. Uh, we only read um, one part and we are passing by this part and we are reading from left to right and same from the desk maps and we are only instancing um, 12 um, uh, sorry 1920 by 1080 so not um, that many points and so the good thing is like it's really stable and um, we are easy in, in um, real time because we are not loading the 40 pictures we are just um, going to load four of them and only instance um, a portion of it and so you can load as many pictures as you want um, and it will um, it should work well and um, yeah so basically like we are reading from left to right uh, let me and uh, oh yeah you just see like let's accelerate a bit the rhythm uh, maybe we can go even further and um, like we have a um, reading head and uh, what happened is like each time we are reading, uh, it's going to load up um, the next picture as we go. So uh, it's uh, you won't see it, but it's like uh, yeah, changing the buffer as we go. And um, this is happening in here, in which like um, we see which step of the generation or like the moving ahead we are in and uh, depending in which it activates a logic um, logic which will trigger a script which will load and unload uh, the right buffer as we go um, so yeah that's basically it um, for the logic um, i'm not using uh, i'm using bounds as a, if we will do like a, with only one step uh, in case we are not in real time or like we are jumping one or two frame, it won't trigger. So right now it's um, 40 steps, so it should trigger unless like you are really like in a low, low, low FPS. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for, for the system. Um, it's a bit tricky like to define the perfect size and the seed teaching. So for now, it's only going to work with um, the Canva I'm going to show you uh, and uh, with one parameter in generation in stable diffusion, we see the 1920 by 1080 and uh, with a specific mask. Uh, so I'm going to show you how um, to generate uh, the image uh, we want. And uh, yeah, first maybe let's go up a side. So in um, you can see uh, the four um, 
the four buffer for the generation are going to be uh, color one, uh, color two, so gen one, gen two. Uh, it will be first gen one, then gen two, and same for death. And then we have an uh, init button to start over from the beginning, and uh, so we can um, we can have uh, it load. So um, let's see what's uh, how to build Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 1, Gen 2 in depth as well. So basically, to build Gen 1, I'm going to show it to you. Um, I just uh, exported a picture in a Stable Diffusion by um, 1920 by 1080. And um, so I decided like to go from city, then to more suburban area, and so on. And um, once I uh, generated all the pictures I wanted, uh, I uh, run them through a script I'm going to show you now. So it's, um, it's a step generation tool. And basically what um, this tool is doing is um, to take uh, the left part of the picture and uh, put it on the right side and uh, take the right side of uh, the previous picture and put it on the left side. And so it's going to generate this image. And um, oops, let's open it. And uh, this image, we are going to use them in a stable diffusion and ask a stable diffusion to generate the middle part. And so we will have a second generation of image, which will be the transition between uh, each picture of the first generation. I hope I am clear. So, so basically, mass gen, what it does, it's like uh, generating all these step gen. So we choose in gen one folder, we choose um, the first generation we, does, we did, sorry, and step folder where we want to export them. And then we just press generate and it will process all um, the picture we have and uh, save them uh, into step folder, step folder. So we can dive into it so you can see how it works. It's basically, yeah, just uh, listing all the folder we have. And then we go each second, we are saving one uh, to the next folder, or maybe not even a second. And uh, then uh, there is a mask uh, we will use um, in uh, stable diffusion. So that's uh, pretty much it for the third designer part. So maybe now we can jump into stable diffusion to see uh, how we can um, work the first generation, but uh, mainly the second generation. And uh, if you didn't saw my previous tutorial, how to do the depth map. So I'm um, launching a stable diffusion. I recommend you, like, if you don't have it installed, um, to use stability matrix. It's quite easy to to launch. And um, so, as uh, I told in my previous tutorial, you will need to have a control net uh, dependency installed. And uh, I'm using automatic um, eleven eleven to to run uh, to run it. So once it's launched, let's open it. And um, so the generation will be in two step. Um, in the first step, uh, let's uh, so it will be the initial picture we want. Uh, let's choose um, 1920 by 1080. I'm using Jordan Shepard 8, but you can use, uh, of course, whatever you want. Uh, I mean, like the only thing is like to have a 1920 by 1080 to work out, and uh, yeah, the best is to have like um, landscape, uh, which is uh, horizontal. Um, so you type whatever you want and then you generate and um, yeah once you generated your first batch of uh, 1920 by 1080 pictures then you run the script um, I showed right before and uh, then you can go to um, image to image tab and uh, in it we are going to go to in paint upload and um, so we could go through batch so you could um, use from directory and choose your input directory as the input where you generated all the first generation and output where like you want them to go and as well as the, the mask you want but um, i found it like um, i need sometimes to generate several uh, several images before getting the one i like so i prefer to do it uh, one by one so i'm just uh, going into in paint upload 
And uh, here, um, I'm just going to drag and drop um, the pictures uh, generated uh, with the step generator. So I showed before, so let's use the first one. So this one, and here um, you just need to drag and drop uh, the mask, which is the um, same generated with the step generator, but which is as well like in um, the folder in the protect file. So you just put it there. And um, then the parameters you need to, to do is um, like you, we want it to keep the same uh, size uh, mask content we want to fill and uh, in paint area is going to be the only masked and um, so we are going to uh, activate soft in painting which is basically like a kind of uh, soften the way it blends together and because our mask uh, has an alpha um, and the soft um, H, um, we just um, click on it and in it I'm not changing actually um, anything. Then in sampling steps, um, I recommend you like to use the same sampling steps that you used uh, on your generation one. And uh, then, uh, yeah, the width has to be uh, 12, uh, 1920 by uh, 1080. And uh, then the prompt uh, you are using, so let me put like what I have. Uh, and the prompt uh, needs to be the same prompt that uh, you used on your first generation or something similar, like you don't want like, to have a forest in between. So I don't know, like for this one, I could drop like um, city street view, um, bright city street view or something like that. And uh, it will uh, generate it. A small trick is um, if you want like to, if you generated a picture and you forgot what was the prompt or how you generated it, you can go to PNG info and drag and drop in it um, the picture you you generated. So for instance, uh, I can drag and drop um, this first one I, I generated and uh, here I can have like the steps uh, actually it was 20 and uh, everything I, I used so let's copy like this part uh, and go to image to image and uh, so I'm gonna put steps to 20 here and uh, yeah uh, in the font uh, I'm just using that and um, when you press generate it will only generate uh, the middle part um, so sometimes it can be tricky like this one is easy as uh, the left or right part are like kind of in the same aesthetics and same uh, city things or such but if you want to go from one to another it's um, it's going to be a bit um, tough so another way could have been as well like to consider this whole system like to work with only the left part uh, and like kind of full freedom with the right part and do like a mask going and the right but I didn't find it um, working well uh, I had not uh, much stability and uh, yeah, I found the system working way better and in a way more controllable way um, like that. It's a bit more technical and a bit more long to do, but uh, I think it's um, working better. So I'm going to wait till the uh, generation ends. And yeah, you can see like it um, kind of created um, something coherent uh, between the left and right part. So once uh, the generation is over, is over sorry, you can go to um, depth and uh, in depth you can um, so go to batch from directory and um, you copy here first your gen one uh, pass and um, so again I can show you like a small trick to copy the pass uh, so you just if you're on windows right click on gen one here and you copy address so sorry this one is in French but uh, I'm sure you will understand how to do it in uh, your language and you copy and uh, then you just have to say the output directory so um, you should create a new directory for this uh, let's say um, here I uh, put it in uh, gen1 devs so uh, here devs and you just have to I'm using devs anything b2 base and I'm not changing anything and you just need to press generate and it will uh, generate the output so yeah that's um that's pretty much it and uh yeah then you just need to open the file and uh, the the designer um, file and choose which folder is where and uh, it should um, generate the effect um, let me know if you have uh, any question um either on my patreon is on the 
YouTube video and uh, yeah, I hope you, you learned something and you can uh, make use of it. And I see you for next time for another video.